Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to edit Moody portraits using Adobe Lightroom. So I just explained what Moody is. It's basically, well, how I explain it is a very soft and a very colorful image. Here you can see it's not very you know, colorful, maybe soft, but not colorful because the foreground and the skin tone is the same color. And there's like literally no, you know, different colors. Like the only different colors is maybe the sky and some of the street lights, but that's basically it. So our kind of end goal is to bring in colors that aren't there and make it look kind of natural. Uh, first, you have to do basic correction, all that sort of stuff. And before I get started, if you want to uh, subscribe to the model, she has her own channel in the description and you can check out her Instagram as well. So the first thing you want to do is select the white balance. So the temperature, the tint, I think, you know, it's fine like this. This is how I shot it. So I shoot on auto white balance because it usually works 99% of the time. You can obviously change this if you want to, you know, totally change up your image and you want it warmer or cooler. I think this is a good balance for exposure. I'm just going to increase it a bit. The reason why I don't want to increase it a lot is because a lot of the light that's going to be coming from this picture is going to be coming from the highlights once I increase it. They usually do this a lot in moody pictures and stuff like that. And also, if you want to, you know, see a lot of moody examples, you can uh, go in the description. There's a Instagram account, this Instagram account called Moody Ports and Moody Explorations and Moody Grams, where they have like moody pictures. And you can see what I mean by moody. So what I mean here is if I increase the highlights and the whites, there's basically no point of increasing the exposure. It just makes everything else bright, right? So I'm going to lower the exposure a bit. I mean, the highlights a bit just because I don't want the hand to be too white. And I think the face would be a little bit too shiny and it just blown up way too much. So you could kind of still see the street here. So that's cool. And I might actually move the temperature a bit left here. So that kind of matches my other pictures. This is not a moody picture right here. This is kind of my style. It's more aggressive. So, you know, it's a bit different from what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. For the contrast, I'm just going to increase it a bit. The reason I, why I want to increase it is because it looks really cool when you increase it just because everything kind of joins together. So, uh, um, um, like once you increase this fully, you can't even differentiate the sweater and the shirt, right? So that's kind of bad though. So you want to lower the contrast to a point where it kind of gets a little bit better looking, but it doesn't lose too much detail because when you go here, you can't see anything, right? So around this point, around 32, you can see a little bit of the detail, which is good. I'll also increase the shadow so that the overall image has uh, more detail. So something like this, and then I'll lower the blacks like fully. And then here, if I want to increase the shadows, I can just do that and it won't affect the rest of the image. And you can see here only the sweater really changes, right? And maybe the hair. So by decreasing the blacks all the way and increasing the shadows, I can really just adjust this however I want. So here you can see this isn't really moody. Um, it's very aggressive. And so what you can do here is you can just lower the clarity. So this is usually what people do for moody pictures. Um, it won't be super sharp and stuff like that. Maybe sharp on the eyes or sharp on a you know certain part of their body, but overall the image is very soft, like I explained before. So for the vibrance, um, basically the vibrance changes the kind of color of the entire image while the saturation is only the skin tones. So I'm just going to increase the saturation and decrease the vibrance because what you'll notice in a lot of pictures on Instagram is there's going to be like a light streak on somebody's face. It's going to be like rainbow or one color. So by doing this, you can see there's kind of like a yellow streak of light. Maybe I should increase this as well. I should decrease this something like that. So it isn't so vibrant and it isn't too popping. You know what I mean? But uh, let's just continue. Uh, the next thing is tone curves. So the first thing you want to do to kind of give it a moody feel is you want to just press right here and just lift it up. So what this will do is it'll create this film, you know, faded effect. And so that's really cool. Don't increase it too much because it might just be like, like that, which is like really bad. So you just want to increase it to, you know, like around here, make another point, And then you can just adjust, you know, a little bit, make it darker, make it, you know, a little bit brighter, set one in the middle. And then so one at the end here. So basically, so basically this is the opposite. This will lower the highlights. So this will make the highlights look a bit softer and not so bright. So you can see the difference right here. And then I'm just going to once again, put another point here and this will adjust kind of the rest of it. And then let's just see how this looks like. It looks better when you lift a bit up. So like that. So essentially what I did is I lifted up the shadow so that there's a faded film look. And then I lowered the highlights so that it wasn't too bright, you know, and then there's just small, you know, adjustments in between. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to hue, saturation and luminance which is HSL and I'm just gonna adjust it very small things and this is the point when I bring in new colors so for red I'm just gonna move it you can see the red kind of adjusts the lips so I'm not gonna really change that you don't want to have orange lips obviously um, for orange you got to see what orange adjust that's the skin tones I'm gonna keep it relatively the same so like right here yellow what is the yellow change um, it makes this green which is cool so let's just introduce green uh, that's a new color right there's no green before well there was kind of green but you can see it more visibly here let's go on green now and that 
that looks like a much better green so you can see the difference this is kind of yellow before and then it turns green which is cool aqua what does aqua change it changes kind of like this as well and by lowering it to the very bottom it turns green as well when you increase it it's kind of bluish so we want to keep it like green so that it matches this whole look for blue we can also change it to like a greenish look and yeah that looks cool so like around here let's try to make it realistic so we won't make it too green we'll keep it closer to the blue side so something like that will look you know pretty good next is magenta what does magenta change it changes this this you know the very small things in the background i think that makes it look green yeah so you here if i zoom in here you can see this is green kind of and then this is like pinkish so we're gonna change it and then magenta i don't even see a change so i'll just keep it in the middle just in case it messes something up like maybe that was the eyes and then the eyes turn green you know so we're just gonna keep that at zero for saturation i really am gonna keep it around the same maybe besides the green on the face so that it's kind of more visible so like increase that increase that maybe the background as well yeah maybe the background as well and then everything else like the lips maybe like a little bit no actually lower it because it looks kind of fake when it's you know too pink like who has lips like that you can increase the yellow as well near the neck you can see there makes it makes a big difference and then luminance increase it for the lips so that it looks you know more realistic it's less you know red and then green as well obviously yellow probably as well yellow is more like the skin tone so it might make the model look too pale if you know what i mean like the hands are already way too bright so um, i'm just gonna keep it around here aqua we're gonna increase that blue um i'll keep it like right in the in between the middle and the end right here magenta increase it because if we decrease it right here it kind of has these weird you know effects because that's where the light used to be so let's just increase it so that it kind of blends in and the magenta same thing so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lower this a bit actually increase this bit and then lower this a bit i want the background to be a little bit more vibrant so that's why and i didn't want the face to you know bright like this right so we're just gonna lower it a bit the next thing i'll do is do split toning so highlights and shadows so this introduces new colors as well but because we already determined you know which colors we want to add i'll be adding just more of that color so here we can add like greenish look and then here in the shadows we can add the blue that we already had just lower the saturation on this a bit because we don't really need a lot of blue we already have a lot of blue but for the green we can increase it a bit so you can see the difference between this and this that's because this was more of a pinkish look and now it has the green tint to it and then here you can change the balance i think it looks better when there's more shadow you know more of the blue shadow than the green tint so you can see there you have it and the last thing i'll do is i'll add um lens corrections usually people will go to effects um because they'll probably add things like a vignette so here you can see like there's a vignette right here but i think it's easier if you go to a camera i mean lens corrections because there's only two options not as complicated you know that's kind of a dumb kind of way to think about it but you can use either it really doesn't matter so i'm gonna increase the midpoint here and just set it as something like this something like that would look really cool so let's just see a before and after right now you can see there's a big difference like there was no green you couldn't see the green before now you can see the green it's very visible and then the last thing i'll do is i'll add distortion this really depends on the picture but sometimes it'll make it look but sometimes it'll make it look really good especially when you have vignette because sometimes vignetting will have like blacks at the top where it doesn't look natural like on the side here just too dark compared to the rest of the picture so if you press constrain crop and increase it it'll kind of stretch out the image so that it looks kind of normal and I think it looks a lot better than if we just set it at zero like that. So definitely, I think if you increase it, it does look better. And especially in this type of theme on um, this kind of environment where it's a street, it kind of makes it look like it's a wider picture and there's more in the background, but it doesn't look good in all pictures. So if I copy this entire thing and paste it onto this, it might not look as cool, right? Because it doesn't look realistic here. It's bent. Why would it be bent, right? It's real life. Um, It doesn't look, you know, legit. So here you can see if I apply this to another image, it looks pretty cool as well obviously if you apply this same you know preset or same you know settings to another picture that is in a different environment different lighting it look completely different so that's why i won't be releasing a preset but if you do want me to release a preset similar to this get this video to 500 likes and i'll release it but to be honest that preset probably won't be too good because this is only for one lighting scenario and so that's basically it for the video but before i um end it off i just want to show you how you can adjust it to a different kind of look so in case you don't want the green and you want something else you can just move the slider the tint right here from green to purple and then you can see it changes up a bit so in this case we just moved it a bit right on both sides and now what you can do is just go to the hsl and change up the color so that it will look more natural but it's super simple so here you can see it's kind of more natural because the skin tone is actually like that but here with purple it's kind of too bright so you can just go to hsl change it up a bit like go to the hue and change it up a bit and change it up a bit so that you can actually you know change the skin tone to make it more realistic and what i'd probably do after just looking at it is i'd probably lower the highlights just a bit and you can also see how it looks like if it's a darker image so like something like that and then increase the highlights and then maybe increase the blacks as well because there's not enough detail you can see the difference between this and this so let me go to the history 
and let me just show you what I just did. So here, there's a bit of a difference. This is a bit of a darker picture, which I actually prefer, um, but you know, whatever. And then we can go down to the very bottom here and then you can see how it looks like compared to this. So you can see right there. The colors are totally different. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Um, if it did hit the thumbs up button, if it did hit the thumbs up button, and if you want to preset, hit 500 likes on this video, and I'll release it in the description. But yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,